Okay, this is the day many Cardinals fans have been waiting for. They got to finally see some hitting during the big red-white team scrimmage, and young fans were able to get autographs from their favorite players. ABC 15 Steve Kuz is live in Flagstaff. And Steve, I'm looking behind you. The weather looks beautiful. How was the turnout today? Oh, Chris, let me tell you, the stadium might look empty right now, but believe me when I tell you, there was 13,000 people, a sea of red and white jerseys out here, everyone showing their team colors and pride today, and even some of the smaller, furrier fans out there. Yes, we were quite shocked to see how many people brought their dogs up here to Flagstaff, a whole pack of them. Yeah, go boy. Go cards. You don't have to make anyone in Flagstaff lie down and beg to show off their team spirit. Today and today only, all of the players and coaches were available for autographs, so fans stood in line for hours to get their favorite signatures to demonstrate their team pride. Look at him. He's excited. He can't wait. He can't wait to see what the team's going to do this year. Steve Krause and his family have cheered on the cards for years, but this is the first time he could bring up his best friend and helper, Kawana. The dog, once I got him, he became the biggest Cardinal fan, so we had to deck him out with who better than the Pat Tillman jersey. Dogs are everywhere at Cardinals training camp, especially the very large and very hot, like Bo here. Who needs someone to cool him down? To the fans watching, it's clear this team isn't going to roll over and play dead this season, which will mean more paw prints on Melanie Merrill's television. That's what her dog Abby does when her favorite team scores. She barks, she runs in circles, she jumps up towards the TV. Watching some of these players practice for the coming season, it's hard not to get excited, whether you've got two legs or four. But if you want to be a real fan, Steve says you have to do it his way. Only the diehards dress up their pets. If you don't dress up your pet, you're not a diehard. Again, autographs, one of the biggest things out here at Cardinals training camp today. So who had the longest line? None other than all-star pro bowler Larry Fitzgerald. I'm in Flagstaff. I'm Steve Couge, ABC 15 News. Steve, thank you very much for that. A reminder now for you all, the first Cardinals preseason game is next week.